Hi, this is Mika. So I've been wanting to shoot a thank you video to all of you guys for subscribing to my channel. Um, I've just really been trying to make videos to showcase the work that I've been doing, both in organizing and design. And I know a lot of you like the studio unit makeover that we did. I didn't expect to get as many views. I got 500,000 views. So I want to thank you guys for that. So I get asked a lot of questions. Some of them are personal. Some of them are more kikai. And then there are some people who are really there for the organizing and the design part. So I thought of coming up with an Ask Tidally series. I'll be answering some of the questions that you throw at me. So I realize some of them may require a longer explanation. But for today, I'm going to go through some of them that I feel I can answer very quickly. Okay, I'm going to choose first the questions that are pretty straightforward. What do you give as Christmas presents to your friends? So I'm all about intentional gift giving. So I have an Excel file with notes of what my friends like, you know, what they like as their hobbies or, you know, their activities. So for this year, I have a lot of friends who like to entertain and have people over. Some of them have bars in their house. So I've given them stuff for the home, for their bar, or sometimes food items that I make or that my friends make. How to organize books that have different height and width. So for me, there's really no correct way to organize stuff. It's really more about coming up with a system that works best for you. You can do um, rainbow order, meaning that you arrange everything by color so that visually it really looks more appealing and um, it looks cleaner. But then some people would also like to arrange books based on the subject matter. So if you have cooking books or history books or educational books, that will work also. Websites you usually visit when getting ideas or inspiration for minor room renovation. So there are a lot of um, resources online. You can go to Pinterest. I like to look at House, the House app. There are a lot of interesting projects there. And on Instagram, the way that I do it is um, when I have a project and I have an idea, um, I actually use, ha use hashtags a lot instead of following specific accounts. So I think that helps. Not related, but how do you actually save money? By not spending more than what you earn. Right? <laughs> That's really it. Simplest way for me to answer this is really to live within your means and to not spend more than you actually earn. So I would work out a budget file if you find that you haven't been keeping to your budget and figure out where most of your expenses are going in a month and after a while you'll try you'll figure out like where you're spending a lot of your cash on and that'll help okay where do you buy your organizing baskets or containers as much as possible i don't really like to use plastic so when i'm able and the client likes how it looks i typically get my baskets from magayon handmade um, i'm a paying customer I'm not sponsored, but I really love their baskets and they actually support a small community of weavers. They use local seagrass materials and um, that small family has been able to put their kids through school already. So I really like to um, help where, where I can. So that's where I get my baskets from my clients. I don't have a question, but I'm keeping in view your posts for when we start building our home. Okay. And please save them as highlights always. I'm gonna do it even better and I'm gonna try to come up with more Ask Tidally design videos for you. What planner agenda do you use? How do you organize your schedule? Do you have a routine? Okay, so many questions. Um, okay, how do I organize my schedule? I'm a very visual person and I'm pretty old school. So I like to see my schedule printed out on a sheet of paper. So I actually print out um, a calendar, a monthly calendar per month, and that's how I plot everything. So it's actually color-coded depending on whether it's work-related or kid-related. So I have those two different schedules, and I work around that. So it's great to see your schedule at a glance so that you can see where your bottlenecks for time are going to be within the month. And I actually hold a productivity workshop um, for clients and this is part of the workshop that I do so if you guys are interested in attending a similar workshop on scheduling and routine you can comment below and let me know 
Where do you buy your supplies? Can you suggest suppliers when on a tight budget? So the way we work is our projects are really dependent on what the client wants in terms of the finishing. But if you're working on a tight budget, the best bet if you're DIYing your renovation projects would be to go to like, you know, those large hardware stores. So personally, we have CW and Wilcon here near our home. So I would do that and it's really for you to get familiar with all the finishing materials that are available working with your budget. So when it comes to tiles, there's stuff from China, there's stuff from Italy, and then for your bathroom fixtures, there are a lot of different brands as well at different price points. So I think it would really be best first to figure out what your budget is and I will do a vlog about suppliers that can address different price points. How do you make your home agio free? Okay, I don't know what... Okay, I'm gonna Google that. Wait. <laughs> okay, agio is cobweb or spiderweb in Tagalog. Okay, we have a weekly cleaning schedule in the house and this really depends on the time that you have available. So this is something that I do for my clients as well. It depends on how much help you have at home, if you're living by yourself, and how much free time you have. So if you come up with a cleaning schedule, then your house is agile free. How to organize with no space, no closets, and no drawers. I have no things. <laughs> so you can, you can use baskets, um, you can have shelves. Um, yeah, you can buy ready-made shelves at the hardware store or the or the department store, or you can have baskets and bins, but you know, having closets is really a great way to maximize your vertical space so that you have more living area in your home. What do you do to curl your eyelashes? Okay, this is the number one question that I get asked. It's not design, it's not organizing, it's really what I do for my lashes. So it's only 199 pesos, it's Maybelline Hyper Curl. And that's what I use. And a Shu Emura eyelash curler. That's it. Simple tips for organizing on a budget. Stay at home wife from California. Thank you. Okay, so I always like to tell my clients that organizing doesn't have to be expensive. As much as possible, even me when I start my organizing sessions, we always declutter first. And I never bring new containers or baskets or even suggest furniture before we're done. Because more often than not, you really won't need a lot more baskets and if you're in California you can head over to the dollar store or the container store and look for items that are within budget. How to organize a lot of clothing in a very small walk-in closet. We're actually shooting one tiny space for a walk-in closet soon and I'm gonna be uploading that so you should watch out for it and I in that video I'm gonna have tips and tricks on how to plan the space really well. How do you start living with less? So for me, um, more than trying to focus on getting rid of the number of items, I think it would be best to focus on your main motivation for why you want to live with less. So it gets a little bit easier in developing habits when you have that motivation in mind. So for me personally, um, this living this minimalist lifestyle, I mean, I'm not completely minimalist, but I am more compared to most of my friends. It's really given me a sense of calm and order, especially when I have two kids. My husband is, I mean, he works abroad during the week and I'm left to myself most of the time to manage everything. So um, that's my main motivation. It's not really so much as having, oh, I need to have X amount of shoes or X amount of bags, but it's really um, simplifying my routine so that I can actually get more things done and have more time with my kids. So that wraps up all the questions that you've asked me when it comes to design, organizing, and personal care. So for the other questions that may require a longer vlog, I will work on them such as what type of wood to use or how to best choose your kitchen countertop. And I hope that I was able to answer your questions and I hope to see you more on my Instagram. Ask away and in the comments below.